This is going to be our first virtual lab here in grade 12 physics and you're, you're going to be measuring the relationship between acceleration on an inclined plane and the angle of the plane and you're going to look for a relationship there. And so here's where we're going to conduct our lab. This is the PHET virtual skate park and uh, this is a nice simulation. It does a bunch of things and we are going to use it to make an inclined plane and measure some speed. So first of all I'm going to pause my skater and I just hit delete control point. I'm going to make my in. I'm going to make my inclined plane. I'm going to leave my skater there, and I have a measuring tape, and I'm going to use it. All right. See, we can't measure the angle directly, but what we can do is we can actually measure uh, the triangle. And it's up to you. You can use the uh, opposite and adjacent side, and Sokotoa to work out the angle but uh, I would use tan here and I would say that if this is my angle here my adjacent side is 9.13 and my opposite side is 3.23 good now I know the angle of my ramp using a bit of Sokotoa and inverse trig functions now I'm ready to measure my velocity over here on the right hand side I'm going to click show path and you're going to see what happens with show path when I start the simulation down at the bottom I'm clicking play you can't see it but I can there we go there goes my skater and pause okay now these little tracks are important you can click on them and they will tell you they will tell you what the speed is speed not having a direction and so keep track I'm going to click this one and I'm going to click this one and I have two speeds now 3.5 meters per second and 7.39 meters per second notice that's two three significant figures and now I have my two velocities and my angle the last thing I need to do is I need to figure out what the distance is between the two points that I chose because we're going to use a kinematics equation to figure out exactly what the acceleration is and so my distance is 6.61 meters and here's the kinematics equation I'm going to use v2 squared in other words the second velocity is equal to the first velocity plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance now what I need to do and I'll let you do this is rearrange this equation for acceleration okay you should do several angles and so make sure that you measure the angle each time and drop your skater and once you've gathered enough data you can go to graph it now this is geometer sketchpad and this is my favorite program for doing the graphing and the curve matching so what you would do is you'd go to the plot points and you're looking for a relationship between angle and acceleration and so if I had an angle of 34 and I had an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared I'd put in 34 and 2 and I would just want to make sure that uh, I have my points on here. In Geometer Sketchpad you also want to make sure that you change your preferences preferences so that you're using angles in degrees and then you may want to compress your grid go graph, uh, grid form, rectangular grid and I may want to compress my degrees and expand my acceleration. There we go so what you're looking for is some sort of relationship so is it going to be uh, 1 uh, over x squared for example so is it an inverse square is it an uh, does it vary with the inverse does it or is it is it one of these weird trig functions so gather about between five and ten data points so that you start to see a nice curve then try and find the relationship